What's going on YouTube? It's Sean P from Project Gunk. If you like what you've been seeing so far, hit the like button, hit that subscribe button, leave a comment, let me know what you want to see because uh, we got a whole lot more to come. What's going on y'all, it's Sean P back again with another sneaker unboxing video. And today I have a very beautiful pair of sneakers. And I know I say that a lot about, you know, about the stuff that I show y'all, but I only buy what I like. And so without further ado, let's get to the shoe. We have today the Air Max 90 SE first use in Signal Blue, White, and Game Royal. And as always, shout out to the Big Foot Gang. Now, these shoe, well, this shoe box is completely freaking mangled. I got it off of Goat, and it was twenty dollars less for uh, a box with no lid. And you know, twenty dollars is twenty dollars. So, without further ado, bam. The Nike Air Max 90 SE first use. color blocking on these I'm loving the, the construction and the material that they use and I just man I when I saw them like I said before I would like I always say I had to get them so let's go ahead and start with the outsole of the shoe we have what you would traditionally find on an Air Max 90 we have the blue on the toe the black that leads down to the heel of the shoe on the lateral and medial side of the shoe we have another blue now I don't know the differences between signal blue and game royal so I'll just, I'm going to call it lighter blue and darker blue. If we move around to the mid sole of the shoe, it's going to be white TPU. We have that lighter blue around the white uh, air units, white along the heel, and it repeats again on the medial side of the shoe. The mud guard on this is going to be a dark suede. And when I say that this suede is nice, look at that. Look at the color change on it. Loving that. And that wraps around the shoe to the medial side. Now above that, we have a softer suede around the toe box. Well, I'm not gonna say softer, a lighter suede. It's a little bit rougher, but it feels pretty good. And that wraps all the way around. Now we move up to the swoosh. This is, swoosh is going to be just a white stitching. Now, now that we're on the swoosh, um, the name of the shoe is First Use. This is going to be the original design that they use for the swoosh, as well as the font lettering that they use on the branding of the Nike. So, that's what that looks like. Now, if we move up a little bit to the ankle collar, it says First Use, June 18, 1971. That is gonna be 13 days after I was born. I know, I'm an old, uh, fart or if you want to say it a different way something nicer i would appreciate it but as i said with that ankle collar that has that on there and the ankle collar is going to have a nylon that wraps around that heel tab and to the opposite side of the shoe let's go to the heel tab is going to be in that darker blue and the nike is going to be in retro lettering this will be what um they first uh, use when Nike came out. So that's the lettering that they had and the style of the swoosh is going to be also similar. So now that we're mention mentioning the retro nature of the shoe, let's jump to the tongue and we have the white patch in Nike in black and what is this? Uh, orange swoosh. And we'll get a little bit more into the different designs that they use for the uh, for Nike branding over the years. The tongue is going to be a nylon. As we move down, the entire tongue is gonna to be nylon. Then we have flat white laces. This is gonna be the thinner uh, flat laces that they uh, would normally put on Air Max 90s. Now, a cool little added detail 
on the tongue of the shoe. Let's see, make sure we get that focus. It's going to be a gold pendant that they put on the shoe. Um, I guess the Dubray. Uh, it's a little higher than where I would normally put the Dubray. I'm gonna leave this on here a lot of times. Stuff like this, I move it around. I think it's dope. But there you go. You got the gold Nike swoosh as well as a faux diamond in there. Um, kind of cool if it was a real diamond but anyway it would be actually ridiculous uh, so we're going to move on to the lateral side of the shoe we have the regular nike swoosh which you would normally find and this is all leather instead of it being stitched in and we move to the eyelets we have white at the top and blue at the bottom and it repeats itself on the opposite side of the shoe now literally i just saw this um, at the base of the toe, I mean at the base of the tongue and at the top of the toe box, they have a leather uh, suede that is absolutely bananas and they, I really wish they would have used this on the rest of the shoe. Look at that. Look at that long haired suede on there. You see that? That is insane. Absolutely beautiful. They did a great job with these shoes. The details, um, the way the colors go together is pretty pretty nice man the tongue itself is nice and thick it's soft on the inside on the toe box equally as plush and it's going to be in that blue sorry about that i like sales i love paying retail and i love free stuff they hit us off with a pair of blue laces with the white aglets on there. And that's another thing I wanna show you on this, the white laces, we have the blue aglets. Now I haven't figured out what I'm gonna keep on the shoes. Um, I may switch them out from time to time. I really don't like switching laces in and out. It's just, it's kind of tedious, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. As I reach into the shoe, I'm gonna pull out the insole and as I was telling you before this shoe is called first use and that basically tells us the first uses of um, of the Nike emblems and how they evolved over time and that is represented on the insole of the shoe and so it goes from the original logo all the way up into 1992 pretty dope on the opposite side of the shoe it mimics the outsole of the night and that is about it what i'm going to do as always is throw these on the turntable so you can get a closer look hold on let's see if i can do this i am i'm gonna throw these on the turntable so you guys can get a closer look and as always thank you for tuning in take care of each other and peace out Thank you.